So listen, we're all in, all enjoying uh, the fourth series um, mm -hmm. of Line of Duty. For those of you that don't watch the show, um, just try and explain to us what it's all about. Um, it's kind of all about police corruption. Uh, we're sort of, uh, for, for American sorts of, we're internal affairs, so yep. it's police investigating police. It's, I think it's as close to we've got to the wire, really, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of... I know that's a, yeah, that's, no, that's I know a big comparison, that. but there is a... That's sort of attention to detail and, yeah. and just putting an audience... Like in a position and going, you know what? You've, we're not going to patronise you. You've got to work. Well, that's a big part of it. We don't make it easy for people. Um, you really need to stick with it. You need to watch it. And also, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a cliche to say it, this sort of water cooler mentality. But we live in such a an immediate culture now. Everybody binge watches everything. Yeah. But with this, we kind of leave you on that cliffhanger, and then everybody's talking about it all week, and everybody tunes in again and watches together. There's something about that communal kind of viewing. I mean, to, to sort of get to the, the, your part and where you are at the moment, a couple of weeks ago, uh, your character, uh, Steve, attacked by someone in a balaclava. Yeah. Um, people thought the character was dead. Yeah. Maybe the character's dead. Much reaction from friends and family? Yeah, it's been mad walking through the street and people shouting, you're alive, you're alive. Um, <laughs> so checking yourself and all that. Um, but it, it's been good because I love playing Ar uh, Arnott, but um, he has a tosser. <laughs> um, and that's why I really like. He's, not, I, he's a little shit, isn't he? That's he is, and I, I, I make him like that because it, that's a great, the beauty of Jed's writing, and that he's the hero, but he's not instantly likable. Yeah. Um, and that's why I put him in waistcoats all the time because he's that sort of overdressed wanker in a call centre. <laughs> <laughs>